All right, guys, we're back with part two of that epic find of a lifetime box battle that we had just a few days ago where we found some crazy, crazy things. Our first time ever finding a shield nickel in circulation. Uh, up here, we have a lot of 40s and 50s uh, that we found during the, the stream. All of that, uh, you saw us pull that live. We opened the box live. We found these three amazing finds right here and a couple of other really cool things. This is a 1958. Look at the condition on that. I found two of these. Both of these are 1958. And they both look pretty much uncirculated, like they maybe came out of a possible mint set and put into circulation. So that was pretty amazing. Uh, both of those 1958D, I believe. Then over here... We had a V nickel, 1883 V nickel. Uh, unfortunately, really wiped on the back, but we did get a date. So really, I don't need to use Nicodate or anything on that. I would just leave it the way it is. Uh, you know, un unfortunately, condition wise, you're looking at like maybe one or two bucks. Uh, then we did find this really sweet Buffalo nickel. And at first, we looked at it, and we were like, oh, no, there's no date on it. Flip it over. Look at that. It's the buffalo on the mound. This is a type one. There were two types, uh, the buffalo on the mound and then the buffalo on the flat. So the, the mound, they only made it one year, so we know exactly what year this was made. 1913, this is a first-year buffalo nickel and... To top it off there on the back, right below the mound, there is a mint mark. It is a D mint mark. There was only about 5 million of these minted, which makes it a semi-key date, which is amazing. I I just can't believe we have found another 1913. And, of course, Snacks pulled on his second roll. Second roll, he got the first ever shield nickel. It took us a while to figure out what it was. Uh, he wouldn't let me see it. And all he would show me is this side of the coin. And finally, he flipped it over and I'm like, oh, dude, 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 I can't believe it. Uh, shield nickel. And we are, in fact, going to use some Nicodate on this because we can't get a date. We can't get a date on it. So we're going to use Nicodate and date it right now. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I have a water cup right here, and I have an empty cup right here. What we're going to do is put our nickel into the empty cup and add some Nicodate. We're going to cover it, submerse it in Nicodate. So we'll go ahead and pop that in there. And we're going to go ahead and add some Nicodate. Remember, this is an acid, so make sure that you use protection, uh, maybe some gloves and uh, some protective gear like glasses. And if, if you're a, if you're a kid, make sure you're having your parents help you out with this because again, it's very dangerous. It, it is an acid. So we're going to add a bunch of this in there. We're going to completely submerse it. There we go. That looks pretty good. There we go. You can see that it's completely submersed and we're going to swish that around, make sure it's covered. We want it completely covered in acid. And what that's going to do over time is it's going to eat away at the soft metals on the coin and only leave the harder metal, which is going to be the details of the coin. It's been in there for quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and drop it into the water. Remember, wear gloves when you're doing this. It is an acid. It will burn your fingers. Uh, it doesn't hurt me for some reason that bad. It bur it'll it burn a tiny, tiny bit for me. But anyway, let's put it in the water. Let's rinse it. See if we got some details. I, I definitely see some details. Okay, let's put it in here and dry it off a little bit. All right, let's see if we can see some details on there. I hope we can. Okay, I, I'm seeing some detail. Okay, I've seen a lot more detail. Let's zoom in on this a little bit. Oh, oh, look at that. 
we definitely have some details there. I don't see a date though. Oh man, I almost see a date. It's, we are so close to getting a date there. Do we have any details on the back? A little bit coming through. I see the stars. I see the five. I think I'm gonna try it just a little bit more and see if we can get one. Oh man, there's almost a date. I can see the 18. I see the 18. Let's try it a little bit longer. All right, we've let it set for a few minutes more. We're gonna try this again, see if we can get some details out of this. All right, gonna plop that into the water. All right, we'll let it set for a second. And I'm gonna go wash my hands here in just a second after I pull this out. Oh, that looks a lot better, I think. I can definitely see details now, a lot easier. Let's go ahead and dry it off real quick. All right, look at that. I see a lot more details now. I'm gonna flip it over and let's see. Do we see more on the back? Oh, wow, it's really popping through now. You can see the five really well, the stars really well. Uh, I would say this is the one with no rays. Yep, that's a, look at that. You can even see the words United States of America going around the, the, the outside of it. That's crazy how much details come out. This was completely slicked. Let's see if we can get a date. Come on, give me a date. Look at that detail, that looks amazing. It, to me, it looks like 1880, 80 something. I'll try and scope it and see if I can get an exact date, but the, this is quite the transformation. All right, under the scope, it's definitely 1880 something. I can't quite get that last, that last digit, maybe 1882 really hard to tell. So after looking at this for a few minutes, I think this is probably an 1882 or an 1883. Uh, either way, this was a really awesome find and I love that we got to uh, bring back some of the details on this coin. Such an amazing box. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. As always, happy hunting.